Hello, my name is Chris Mouflard. I'm a project engineer at Vigo Software. Welcome to the Vedi Schedule Planner video training series level four. We're going to show you how to define location lag. In this vignette, we're going to talk about what is location lag and why we'd use it when we are scheduling and how we input location lag in Vigo Schedule Planner. So what is location lag? Location lag is a mandatory dependency related to locations below needing to be completed before locations above can start. Essentially, we're using location lags to automate logic in related locations. For example, we'd use a location lag to complete the suspended slab before starting columns on the next floor. With Schedule Planner open, let's quickly make a custom view to highlight the form, rio, and concrete tasks for the superstructure. So I start by heading to the project level, selecting the custom schedule views, adding a view, and then selecting the view or schedule group that we wish to add and typing in a name. We can then filter this view set to show the locations only in the superstructure. We can quickly clear the selection and then only select the form, slabs, rebar, and concrete to slabs. Let's click OK and click OK again and head to the active schedule finder to our examples and our structures FRP. Before we get started, we're also going to show a split screen view. So we'll do this by heading to the Windows tab to the new combined view, isolating the flow line and the Gantt chart view. Let's expand this column to expose our tasks and show more of the flow line. We can then highlight our tasks in the Gantt view and use the plus sign to open to the next level of, of detail. We would use location delays when we plan to start activities sequentially as they occur directly after each other in the same locations. In this instance, we must also apply our toolbars for the flow line tools. Clicking back in the flow line view and selecting the dependency mode, we can grab the lowest location for our concreting task. Click and drawing a dependency line, the second location which we wish to create a location lag. As you can see, we can define the logic relationships in the dependencies dialog. However, note that the location delay equals one. Let's click OK. As you can see, by creating a location lag of one, we have staggered the starts of each of these activities to occur sequentially one after another by location. Further, you can see the impact in the amount of logic that was created by just one link in the flow line view in the Gantt chart view. In the instance that we would have, say, two sets of formwork being utilized for this series of concrete pours, we could apply a location lag of two. We would do this again by drawing a dependency line, not to the location above, but to the location above that. Again, see that we now have a location delay of two. As you can see, we have now adjusted our location delay to reflect only a small amount of delay to this series of tasks. In this vignette, we've learned that location lag is an allocated amount of time to a particular location which facilitates scheduling of extra time. We've also learned that if we apply a location lag of one, this allows us to complete one area before we can start the next. Alternatively, if we use a location lag of two, we can start two areas before the next area can start.